Greetings fellow pirates, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Crash Landed Corsairs, Episode 8, Piled High. At this point, like, I should just keep them in the pen and call them when I need meat. I didn't realize that he'd be so insanely efficient at, at taming them. So I know that I have to do a huge amount of, uh, of hauling to clean this garbage mess up. But there's only maybe like three traps left to manufacture uh, before the, the raid comes. And as far as I know, I don't think I have any violating anything outside of, um, outside of stockpiles. Everything looks good. And there's the countdown. Oh. A totally unrelated raid. Okay. Well, that happened. Droner's destroyed, which is nice. There's just an auto-charge turret left, which might end up winning. And I am going to accept this now because uh, it seems like I'm going to have a regular old raid on my hands. I might as well just have the extra uh, muscle to deal with it. Unfortunately, because I don't want to use zoning, uh, it's time to wall this up. So, Shell, I need you to go build that and I'm flicking off the sun lamp uh, the standing lamp so I not don't pay for it wow I have no idea how you got all the way out here without pissing them well I guess you did technically piss them off you're surprised we didn't accept honor for that one yeah me too it was left up to pole, and, well, that's what people decided. All right, he's ass getting out of there. And now I'm just, uh, putting together my defense force. This raid's not big enough that I think I need to use cooldowns or anything like that. Plus, they're trickling in a few at a time. Oh, you, uh, okay, let's build that. Okay, I took one arrow, stab in the leg. So these two are going to need a bedroom. I'm going to let them sleep in here. And I'm going to uh, raffle them off to you guys, because they're temporary members. Might as well. Raffle time is up. Good luck. Then the sniper I'm gonna have go plink at the at the other raiders. And Isaac is fetching wood to wall up the uh, the base here. Uh oh. There are a few that I can capture out here that I probably should have done already. They're bleeding really really fast. So shell and Glitch come out there to try to uh, make some prisoners. 
And the dude named, literally named Ono uh, is backing up for cover. What drugs do you have? I probably can't save this dude, but I'll try. He got shot in the neck. Oh no, oh no is not doing hot. Wow! Holy moly, Shell saved him. How bad is your shooting? Seven and nine? Oh, they, okay. They managed. And of course, I am not blamed for, like, it's fine for him to get away, because these are obviously royal units, so the fact that they have, like, recon armor and sniper rifles isn't being uh, used against me. Uh, so here's the other thing, is uh, I don't really have a place to put these prisoners at the moment. So let's make a prison. And then I'm going to have to patch up Ono oh quickly. Uh, I don't need to avoid anything, because there's nothing to avoid anymore. The uh, the lovely raiders actually just destroyed the... Uh, destroyed the cluster for me. So, thank you for that. And the temporary guys, I don't want them doing really anything. Okay, the sensitive stuff has been walled in, so no one, no one will be able to get to it. And the cool thing about these guys is uh, I don't need to cut their tongues out because they saw nothing. Oh, God. Did he get back up, though? Oh, no, no. I just finished patching. So the whole purpose of cutting their tongues out is to keep them from talking about the fact that I'm non-tribal. But they saw nothing because, you know, I didn't even knock them out. A uh, mech cluster did. So they can keep their tongues. And... I hypothetically could recruit them. Sanguine Undergrounder? Not bad, actually, not bad. He's still a child. But uh, I could consider recruiting uh, Lala Olga. I'll take a look at the other one in a minute. The one thing I can't do, however, is to touch this stuff. Can you, can you not? Because, um, you know. It makes sense that there was a mech cluster here, but it doesn't make sense that I would, like, try to haul plastealer components, so I have to leave that out there. And then the other one is quick sleeping, greedy, and hypersensitive. Alright, uh, well, I'm gonna have you guys choose. Should I recruit Olga? Yes or no? So that would be this Undergrounder Sanguine Constructing Mining Plant and Int, who's 19 years old and has no permanent injuries. Madzy, you are officially Ono. And Guitar Lillen, you are Appa. Yep, yep. Nope, my muffalo are already making new muffalo. That did not take very long. 
I'll allow it. Meat farming the laziest way possible. Lord. Both of the loaned troops love drugs. <laughs> I can see why you sent them. <laughs> Thanks, game. So with the additional traps, I think it's fine. Like, steel is not, because steel is made of mountains. I'm going to mine up the steel that's, um, uh, to get the traps rearmed. Lock up the tea. Oh, tea is tribal. Tea and beer are tribal. That's tribe tech. Actually, when you start it, when, when, you, when you, um, start a new tribe colony, you literally start with the research. That's how tribal it is. Yes, okay. Let's uh, start converting him then. What about Natrabal? Or Nyatrabal? Oh, the other question is, should we enslave Olga instead? So we do like having slaves in the colony. And, uh... Um... You know, we could enslave them instead of, uh, instead of recruit them. I'll leave it up to you. The, to put my thumb on the scale a little bit, he can't really fight. So, a pirate that can't fight sounds like a slave to me. But, uh, ultimately I'll have you guys make that decision. So how soon are they coming? The, uh, compensated battle. Three days. Alright. Getting the traps ready. We can do an allow all and then specifically forbid the things we shouldn't touch. Things are getting organized. I might also put straw matting here, uh, effectively cutting this grow, this uh, rice paddock in two. But just so that uh, when we path, it doesn't, uh, it's not a problem. Another thing now that we're in the 1st of April, May, um, it would be a good idea for me to consider Devil Strand. Devil Strand is a tribal tech, and I have the, uh, the research already, so I'm going to start that. It's going to keep, uh, it's going to keep Shell very busy. Devil Strand takes a long time to sew. I'll call that Devil Strand 1, and I'll probably end up putting more Devil Strand elsewhere. 
Oh, uh, shoot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Leave that alone. Luckily, none of them were around me when I did it. So let's leave the components alone. With the component mining. That's something that tribals would never do. An insult spree against glitch. Oh, that's annoying. At least glitch is typically in a really good mood. And now against Moxie. Well, Moxie's not always in a good mood. How am I going to kill the Stellar? I'm going to lure them. Moxie did not take the insult. And almost ripped their nose off. They had it coming. Well, okay. We have to leave that. Would be funny if they had. I know. Well, I mean, you know. I would have been okay with that. Oh, great. So I destroy a droner, and then we get a droner anyway. <laughs> of, of course. Of course. And I'm actually going to wake up. I'm going to treat... I should have um, illuminated this, but I'm going to wake up Moxie uh, to preach health so that she recovers, because we have fights coming, and I don't want a wounded person. If I can help it. Dungeon Master railroading at its finest? Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Uh, Olga, sorry, you're going to be enslaved instead. Uh, so I'm still going to convert first, but after converting, I'm going to enslave. Should we recruit or enslave... Nat. Recruit, enslave, or no. Uh, so I do need, you know, royal tribute collection bodies. And there's literally a royal tribute collector coming right now. Uh, so I'm going to actually make the executive decision to cut his tongue out. and I, I don't even need to. I'm just going to uh, donate him. Because uh, he didn't see anything. He saw... He didn't see us messing with anything non-tribal. Good timing. So sorry, Nat. Bye-bye. And that was my inspired trade, which almost seems like a bug. I sh you shouldn't use your inspiration up to give... Because... Well, whatever. Mazzy, could you not? Oh, my lord. Well, thanks for that. So now, Olga, you have your own little solo prison cell. Now, given that there's a lot of raids incoming, I might want to prep a prison area. Uh, so I will work towards that now, even though it wasn't like a vote of priority, just because I know um, if we do end up capturing a bunch of people, I'm going to want to uh, have somewhere to put them. And then the also advantage is, unless the kind of, unless the um, the helpers die, the people that I end up imprisoning in here uh, won't likely see anything they are not supposed to, meaning that I won't have to cut their tongues out. I could, of course, choose to cut their tongues on it for fun, but I don't have to. I'm going to briefly clean up because things got a little nasty. That is so dangerous. Oh my lord, why? Why are you using that corridor? <laughs> Alright, so the compensated battle, they will be here in about half a day. The first raid.
Get a freezer? Uh, it would be really difficult to get a freezer without it being a problem for, uh, for rule violations. Right, I can't really put a freezer in this kitchen, so I would need a second kitchen, a hidden one, a secret one. So it's entirely possible to do that, uh, but, you know, it would, it would need to be a voted goal. I wouldn't necessarily be against it, but again, voted goal. What about low-tech coolers? They don't produce cold enough to uh, uh, change the rot chance. One thing I could do is just turn uh, the food, the meat I have into pemmican as fast as I can, and uh, it wouldn't spoil. So I can actually start to do that instead, so that we have less rot. A freezer could be made false god style? No, because uh, how would I just, how would I explain to anyone why the room is colder than freezing, right? That's not gonna fool the royals. They're gonna be like, okay, you have a freezer installed. You can't just magically make cold with your magic. Whereas in False God, you know, no one knew any better. Where, whereas the royals, well, they understand refrigeration, so they would know I'm lying. Um, all right, who's up? Isaac, you're up. Uh, is someone out there? Oh, Glitch is out there. Get away. Wonder why time was slowing down. So I'm prepping the traps. Inside mountains or underground? No, I'm not I'm not choosing the uh, the rule set for ease of gameplay. The rules are the rules and I'm not bending them. For, uh, for convenience. Then they're not rules. They're like sort of guidelines. And, you know, they're supposed to be rules, not sort of guidelines. So we've got three different regroups. Eleven total. Not the fourteen that they promised. I could do a secret kitchen, though. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we have two raids. One I don't think is related. Hang on. So the Borba tribe, the first one is related to the quest. The second one is just like they showed up to show up and they're murdering one another. So uh, yeah, let's quickly close this door so that they fight each other and not me. That's nice. Very nice. I'm also pulling the excellent beds that I'm making and putting them into the uh, into the bedroom. So this is Moxie's. So this is a totally unrelated raid group to the quest. Unfortunately, there is a ton of people that could be captured, but they're just sort of camped right now. And uh, there's enough enemies out there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's try. Because I can always sacrifice Madzi and Guitar Lillen, because they can die of no consequence. Oh, or uh, more Borbas just showed up. So I'm going to go back inside. Because <laughs> they, oh no, wait, these are double Borbas. Oh no, this is really bad. Okay, so it's just a huge raid group now. Uh, so this needs, this door needs to be propped open. 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is Eep. They, they sort of came together as a big group. That's okay. I think we're gonna... How many enemies are there now? 32. For the record, I have 16 traps. Now, what I could do is form a physical bottleneck here with, like, the troops that can be sacrificed, which I think I'm going to do. I think that, that raises my odds. Um, what, so what I'm attempting to do is limit the amount of trap resetting that I need to manage by essentially sacrificing the guards that said that they would fight and could die of no consequence. Because I am pirates and I'm not fond of the royals, so the fewer royals there are, the better. So I'm having my royals just like meat tank for me as I hide behind them firing so I don't have to trip so many traps. I think this is a pretty good strategy. Alright, so first group is done. There is a Barracuda who can be captured. Oh, right. These aren't, uh... Wait, Guitar Lillen? Why is that even your bedroom? Did you forget? The second group is incoming, and uh, I'm going to pull back using the traps for the second group. So, I guess Barracuda, you get to survive. But, duh, 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 move quick. Don't break that. Go around. Oh god, and the other one. And they're attacking immediately. So now there is 34, but this is the last of the three raids, I believe. They have a clear path. They just are they're like drunk and they don't get it. Oh, they're breaking it. Uh what can I do? I can build that with Isaac. Okay, they're, they're, they're moving. I think. Okay. I don't even have time to build that, I don't think. Um, stop breaking it down. Sorry, Guitar Lillen, but you're being sacrificed. To so hold them at bay. And then the other issue is this doesn't actually stop them. It slows them down because they can go around. So if I really want to stop them, I'm going to need to patch all the holes, which is... Uh, what materials do I have? Sandstone? All right, let's do it as sandstone. Because sandstone is actually builds quicker than... Um, than uh, marble anyway. So Athsin, start hauling the sandstone into place. Hang in there. I like how they're respecting the. Oh, they're just kidnapping Katar Loma. Oh no, they're gonna come in. Okay. Well, that's not going to be helpful. <laughs> they got up for like 10, 10 sec, like not even 10 seconds. All right, so Wally, got my eye on you. All right, now I have a bottlenecking. Um, hmm. I really, that's really, it's so unfortunate that I couldn't manage that in time. 
Okay, good. Good, good, good. Piss off. Dying there. All right, it's not good news for Ath if he can't. Okay, he died. Let's just say I saw that, predicted it, but there was no way to stop it in time. Well, we managed to uh, send them all packing without any traps. Drinks on you. Cheers. Thanks. I need it. Oh. Win some, lose some. Yep. Yes, indeed. All right. I'm going to want to mitigate the damage done. Moxie, I want you to start capping as many as I can and then making sure they don't break their way out. Because you're not hurt. I did get a eye scar on Isaac, which uh, will have no cure. Isaac, you do the same. You're, you're not so injured that I can't have you cap people. Are any of the raiders worth recruiting? Well, I can I can uh, calculate that once once I have them captured. Guitar Lillian has been ca uh, kidnapped. Yep, that that's fine. And I have uh, Balkan's trader coming in. Interesting. Madzi just died, but again, that's fine. She was allowed to. Uh, I believe that quest is done because these raids. Related quest is compensated battle. Related quest compensated battle. Related quest compensated battle. Yep. So I just happened to get four raids at once instead of three. Which actually kind of worked, but then the fact that this door got destroyed was definitely a bit of a problem. But I survived, and uh, honestly, I that was pretty awesome. Because I, I sort of threw down against 34 enemies with, like, five people. So I got my Glitterworld meds. This was donated. This was a quest reward from the uh, Glitterworld Empire, or the uh, the uh, Royal Imperium. So uh, I don't need to hide it, in other words, because they know I have it. They gave it to me. Alright, so glitch patch shell, shell patch glitch. And then you guys are like super about to have a mental break. Is there anyone out here that I can get to in time? No. The only one is three hours and they're gonna die before anyone gets there. So that's all the people I can capture. That's fine. I cap three. Counts for something. Or maybe a cap too. We'll see if Barracuda survives. I have Shell coming down to try to help. Yeah, it's just three big ones. It should be okay. Well, that's a big old mess. Jesus. And then you are left unmarried.
Hmm. Put you there. Maybe I'll have a tomb at some point, but not yet. Yeah, I shouldn't grab the components with a trade caravan here right now. That would be a problem. Because I want to bury them uh, sooner than later, I'm just going to make a sandstone sarcophagus, and I'll put it uh, I'll put it in my stockpile. So that's a super weird place to put it. As soon as Glitch is awake, I'm gonna do the trade. I just want his mood to improve a little bit so that I'm not penalized for bad mood. So I'm only going to be able to sell tribal stuff to this trader without, you know, causing some suspicion. Let's see. All the weird assorted leathers I could probably ditch. And that's about it. Uh, it does give me a lot of silver. And we have a burial. So once people are awake, uh, I will put... I'll start up the burial zone, Randy. And... Uh, get him interned. Lost a comrade. Oh, the other thing is that we have um we have rituals that could be able to handle that. I just realized. So I could do the singing shanties. Um, this room sucks. Maybe I could clean up a little bit before the singing shanty. But that would help improve mood for the loss of Atheson. There's not much better. Like, this room isn't going to get much better because it's pretty boring to begin with, but. Do exotic goods traders count as, like, a black market? No. I'm just not going to buy anything non tribal off of them. Anyway. Uh, now that the guests are gone, I can open up the uh, research room again. Get back to research. Let's put a funeral on. It was a good rec room. And then let's do a shanty. So shanties, if you're not aware, is part of the VE Pirates. Uh, colonists gather around a campfire and sing shanties to strengthen their camaraderie. Depending on the ritual quality, uh, the game between a negative three to plus eight for six days. And then it also, um, I guess it's not described. Oh yeah, we'll remove negative thoughts from losing someone for all participants. So essentially the uh, allied death should disappear. It was lame, but uh, ultimately it socialized with a with a comrade. It it uh, offsets the whole allied death. So I guess it doesn't negate it. It just offsets it. 
Thank you for tuning in to Crash Landed Corsairs, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 24th and June 25th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this series streamed one time only, so no changes can be made. If you would like to join my live streams, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Twitch, and it also has a link to Discord if you'd like to join my gaming community. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel, and also everybody that turned out to the marathon. Thank you, thank you. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream of another series. Farewell, my fellow pirates. <laughs>